Troubleshooting Guide for the Softec IOL Range, System LC1645S. Please click on one of the following problems. Problem 1. Lens doesn't stay in the cartridge chamber when loading. Problem 2. Cartridge not closing. Problem 3. Lens not advancing with the advancing aid. Problem 4. Plunger tip not advancing into the back of the cartridge. Problem 5. Lens is retracting back quickly when withdrawing the plunger during safety check. Problem 6. Too much pressure required using the injector plunger. Problem 7. Leading haptic rotating when injecting. Problem 8. Lens scratched down the middle. Problem 9. Small white splinters on optic. Problem 1. Lens doesn't stay in the cartridge chamber when loading. Cause 1. Too much saline in the loading channels. Solution. Place lens in saline and remove some saline. Cause 2. Forceps are placed too wide, allowing them to slip over the side of the optic. Solution. Manually narrow the distance between the forceps tips. Cause 3. Cartridge allowed to reopen slightly when manipulating. Solution. Close the cartridge flaps back to 90 degree angle. Problem 2. Cartridge not closing. Cause. Some part of the lens is not loaded and is protruding from the chamber when closing. Solution. Rehydrate the lens and repeat the loading process. Problem 3. Lens not advancing with the advancing aid. Cause 1. No or not enough saline in the cartridge. Solution. Rehydrate the lens and add more saline. Cause 2. Some part of the lens is trapped in the flaps. Solution. Rehydrate the lens and repeat the loading process. Cause 3. Lens has been loaded too soon and becomes too stiff to manipulate. Solution. Rehydrate the lens for a minute, and if still stiff, use new lens. Problem 4. Plunger tip not advancing into the back of the cartridge. Cause 1. Tip is not on straight. Solution. Firstly, inject some viscoelastic around the back of the chamber to lubricate it. If not successful, remove the cartridge making sure the flaps are closed. Straighten the plunger tip and replace the cartridge. If still not successful, open a new cartridge and use the new tip. Cause 2. Cartridge is not set in the correct position in the loading space. Solution. Make sure that the cartridge is butted up to the loading space and pressed down. Problem 5. Lens is retracting back quickly when withdrawing the plunger during safety check. Cause. Trailing haptic is trapped under the plunger tip. Solution. Quickly retract the plunger tip and try to release the trailing haptic. If this fails, rehydrate and reload the lens.
Problem 6. Too much pressure required using the injector plunger. Cause 1. Lens loaded too soon and it has become too stiff. Solution. Rehydrate the lens for a minute, and if still stiff, use a new lens. Cause 2. Plunger tip not attached correctly, losing pushing efficiency. Solution. Remove the cartridge and check the tip is not puckered or bent at an angle. Problem 7. Leading haptic rotating when injecting. Cause 1. The haptic has not been manipulated back to the optic. Solution. Counter twist the injector as you are injecting. Cause 2. Not using viscoelastic at the front of the chamber. Solution. Counter twist the injector as you are injecting. Cause 3. Not enough viscoelastic in the loading channels. Solution. Counter twist the injector as you are injecting. Cause 4. Too much viscoelastic in the loading channels. Solution. Counter twist the injector as you are injecting. Cause 5. Lens power too high for recommended cartridge. Check with representative for cartridge recommendations. Solution. Counter twist the injector as you are injecting. Problem 8. Lens scratched down the middle. Cause 1. Not enough saline in the loading channels. Solution. Use a new lens. Cause 2. Opening, hyperextending the cartridge flaps when loading. Solution. Use a new cartridge. Problem 9. Small white splinters on optic. Cause. Opening, hyperextending the cartridge flaps when loading. Solution. Use a new cartridge. <laughs>